Hey guys, what's up? Just a quickie for you today. Look at this one from B outfitter.com it's their simple bag called the taquitos taquitos taquito it's a taquito because you roll it at the top that's a, that's a bad joke here's the thing uh i get a lot of backpacks sent to me a lot of them i don't do reviews on and i was like i'm getting ready for travel i didn't think i'd have time to film something on this and i kind of don't but i did want to show you the bag just to just because there's some things that I actually really like about it. Okay, it's in a it's like a basic adventure pack. Like so, you're you're like the thing that you need for like all the time. You've got uh, stowaway hip straps, which I'll pull out in a second. It's got a camera cube integration. This little like camera cube that they make that fits inside of a dry bag, so you can have your gear inside of a dry bag. And then you could also integrate it into this, which is like okay. It feels a little bit. Feels a little bit like uh, not as solid and sturdy as I would want. I want a camera bag to really be a camera bag. But if you want something that can do camera bag and other stuff, like th th this will do it. Um, you've got a quick access pocket here, a stash pocket. You've got uh, this. These are magnetic guys. How do they work? Roll top so you can get a lot more capacity in the bag. And then you've got a zipper that goes all the way up and down. So you can actually get into it through here or unzip it all the way, which just let's do now, all the way down, and then you can access your shit. Inside here you have a, a like just a, sl a sack, just a simple flap for, uh, for a laptop or a hydration bladder, which you can pull the tube out through both sides. You'll see that zipper in there is actually just to this little compartment in the back where it has a rigid uh, plastic frame, a very lightweight, rigid frame. Now, the thing that makes this bag special to me actually is the material that they made this out of. It's sort of lightweight um, and feels I don't know, this bag just feels like a, okay, so compare it to like what are, what's like another very popular uh, adventure bag, like the Wandered, okay? By the way, with roll top bags, I have learned that for the like, it tends to look better when you roll towards the back of the bag instead of towards the front. So, you know, I got that going for me. When this thing is like rolled down tight, it's like, I don't know, it feels like it's it's too tight. Getting one of these is normally harder to get in than the other. I'm not in love with this, but what's good about it is is they're they're sort of oriented towards you. So, I don't know, it's easy to pull out. It's a little bit more complicated to get in. What's great about the magnet stuff is you don't have to slide it in. Okay? You have to slide it out, but then it just you just put it on top and it's like how do they work. Now, when I put the bag on here, it's you can just get a sense of the size, okay? It's just like a simple rucksack like size, like regular adventure pack. I can do, I can get, I can be, I can go. I can I like I can do all the things. But what feels interesting to me is the fabric. It feels like a regular bag, you know what I mean? It feels and it feels good. It feels like it's definitely going to shuck the water right off. It's got everything's got like water resistant zips. You obviously have the have the roll top so you're kind of water water you know, protected. But I don't know, I just like the materials. I like the lightweight like kind of materials in comparison to the Wandered Perverky or Provoke Pack, which is great. I mean, you've got all the adventure stuff. You feel really ruggedly protected from everything. You've got stuff for your tech. Definitely, this is a more robust bag by a long shot. And I think what I was attracted to in this is that it's, it's less robust. It's more simple. It's more, yeah. Or simple. You know, like I mentioned, they have this camera cube insert that like, you kind of like, what's weird about it is you have to, you have to like literally like, like um, construct it, like you put it together. And so everything's held together with, uh, with some Velcro and, and stuff like that. It's like not my favorite, but if I can grab, you know, it gives me a nice little rigid place to put my my camera gear. So uh, it's totally doable. And once it's in there, it feels pretty solid. Like it really does. It's just like in putting it together, it was a little like, am I doing this right? Like it comes with instruction manuals and it also comes with, uh, or as another accessory, they have this dry bag that the camera cube like fits directly into, right? So you've got a little handle on the top and you can roll this up and now you've got a dry bag sort of camera thing. So you can be rucking around with this guy. Now they do have a little stash pocket in here, little quick access stash pocket goes all the way across the back 
of the bag. They also have a stash pocket up in here. So these are our two pockets for quick access on the outside of the bag. Also hidden in here is a little daisy chain for some you know, accessories if you wanted to connect some stuff there. And you've got hip straps that are always there, but you can fold them away. So that is, and they're nice soft padded hip straps. So like if you're packing this sucker out, you could really, you know, you could really do well to have some of those hip straps. So things I don't like about this bag, or one of the things I'm worried about is in this light color, they have a darker color as well. It, uh, I don't know what, what dirt does on this. I mean, I don't know how, how many rucks, how many adventures you go out on before this thing starts to look pretty ratty. But I don't know, I just like what they did. I think it's a solid thing. I don't know if there's gonna be a, a, a large market for it. I don't know how you differentiate in a, in, a, in a space like this where you gotta be like, you know, I don't know. I don't know, so I just thought I'd, I'd send out the good word, let y'all know about B Outfitters. Check them out, you might be interested. It might be perfect, it comes in at like 140 bucks for this guy, so you got that going for you. I have been Chase Wardman Reeves. Follow along as I just apparently do random little videos to show you like a product that I, I just don't have time to review, so I'm just gonna show it to you. Talk to you guys later. Be yourselves, all right? Listen, knock it off. Figure out who you are. That's the most important thing. Your authentic self is the is the gem, the pearl at the center of you. And it's challenging because all the world is telling you who to be, right? And so it's stillness. It's a little bit of quiet, a little bit of contemplation, a little bit of watching your breath maybe. It's gonna help you figure out the you and quit, turn everything down for a second. That's just my two cents. Or you can, you know, take ayahuasca in the jungle with a shaman. Talk to you guys later. Love you. Bye-bye. JaceReeves.net. Those are the websites. I guess those are the websites. Yeah, where I he's guess wanting so. us to, hmm. I guess, go check out what he's up to or something like that. Yeah, it looks nice.